Hi, it's Camille with POSGuys.com. Today we're going to take a look at the Zebra ZXP Series 7 card printer. You guys know, possibly anyways, that I love card printers. So we're going to do a quick run through just so you can see the ins and outs of this machine. This is where you load your cards, just like this. This slides that way and your cards pop in right there. This snaps in place. You can hear it's a nice strong snap. Closes up, fits about 200 cards, nice size. LED display with menu buttons, return, print test cards, etc. You can find your IP. I'm going to say select return and go back. This is your media bay. Pop it open with that button. Nice new feature on this one for me, anyways, is this drawer where you pull the media out like it's a little drawer. This saves on cut fingers from having to stick your fingers in the machine and pull out media that is stuck in there tight. The media itself, which is this CMYK ribbon, pulls out just like I did right there. You don't have to do any major snapping or pulling, you just pick it up. Look at that, I can do it really fast. To put it back in there, you make sure it's lined up with the axles, the inside rotational pivots in there. Shut it nice and firm. See how I didn't quite get it right there? It must have something blocking it. So pull it out. Make sure nothing's jamming it. Oh, I'm just kind of pathetic today, aren't I? <laughs> I usually don't have this much trouble shutting it, but there it is. There you go. That is a fully closed media drawer. This comes down. Oh, before I shut it, this is your print head right in here. So the print head heats up the ribbon and transfers it to the card. This is closing it up. Right there is where your cards come out. If you listen closely right now, you can see that it's checking the printer ribbon, getting everything lined up, making sure it's working. Let's hear it spooling. This Card output holds about 100 cards, which is great if you're doing high volume, and it'll work fine if you just need one or two, like you're printing student IDs on the fly. My favorite feature on this printer is its composite black printing. What that means is that if you have an image made of CMYK, like those panels we saw earlier, which were cyan, magenta, yellow, black, then what it does is it will automatically put the black on the image. A lot of printers will just do CMY, and unfortunately that results in a faded black. One downside to this printer is that while it can print on regular cardstock just fine, yeah, we'll put it in there. That's, see, that's 100 cards right there. While it can print on regular cardstock just fine, it can't do keychain cards. Now. Mind you, the Zebra ZXP Series 7 can't do keychain cards, so see if Zebra has any other options. They might have some that can handle it. Keychain cards come like this when you print on them. You have three up, and they snap apart like this. That's your end keychain size. So, so that's it. This is a Zebra ZXP Series 7, a really nice, nice quality card printer. I wouldn't suggest doing edge to edge printing, but I really do love it. Otherwise, if you're interested in purchasing it or you'd like more information, just contact us at posguys.com. We don't have it listed on the website because it is such a, a specific product that it, it doesn't appeal to a lot of people to have on our site, but we do love our card printers and we can help you find what you need for your business specifically. Thanks for watching. Please like our video or subscribe if it was really helpful to you. Uh, it helps our business and it helps us to put out more videos like this showing you hardware that's really hard to get your hands on. Thanks.